Good morning, Arthur. You okay? Yeah, just fed up with all the pessimism around here. I hear you. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. How's things? Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, hey, Dutch. Abigail. Morning, Arthur. Morning. Come on, Arthur. It was just a game, and you lost. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Hello. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right then, Arthur. There she is. Hi there. Morning to you. Morning, Mr. Morgan. You ever miss Austria? Sometimes, I suppose. Jose, how are you? Good morning, Arthur. Any good news in there? There rarely is. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. Everything okay, Arthur? Hey, Strauss. Good to see you. How are you? Miss Grimshaw. Don't ask. Mr. Morgan. Mrs. Adler. Morning, Arthur. One night when I was frisky From too much pole to whiskey Like waves on the bay of Biscay I began to tumble and roar My face Still pleased to sponge after your victory, I see. Mr. I Morgan, all good, I hope. My poor knobster I watch from Hello. My About time you rested up. Don't know how we got I anything done before you joined us. <laughs> I like to keep busy. Anyway, keep it up. All right. Hey, there's more. 
Got that moonshine for you. Try. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. In a sun, the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us. He meet all the jolly good fellas. And I by the poker and bellas. I'll never get drunk anymore. Hey. And good morning. A drink in your hand. What a surprise. Just a swift one. You know, Miss, I've killed girls that betrayed us and done it happily. Is reading betrayal in your world, Miss Simshaw? Not reading, Miss. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right not, missy! On! Always good to see you. Yes. Morning, T. Ah, morning. Looks like hard work. Not really. All right, well, I'll leave you to it. All right. Hey, Abigail. Hi. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Well, we all need a break. Sure. Morning, Arthur. Hey, fellas. You, uh, you doing all right? For sure. You got a good head on your shoulders. I do. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. But I am tempted to seriously hurt you. Just for something to do. Come on, please. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. It ain't right. Playing with a feller's emotions like that? Getting into trouble again. I never liked Catholics, Mr. Matthews, but, uh... You know, you know Arthur, that? it's the illness of romantics. Confess. What is hope? I know nothing about hope reverence. is. Uh, that's between you and God. Sometimes I feel as if he cared. He would have killed me years ago. That's a feeling I can relate to.
Reverend. Hello. How's it all going? Maybe I can't complain. <laughs> well, I can. <laughs> So, what's the disease of cynics? Doubt, Arthur. Doubt. I knew you was gonna say that. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Pearson? We should play again. I'll let you win next time. <laughs> At least say it like you mean it. You know, I would have thought one was it. enough. I used to feel like one big ah, I'm only joking with you. How, wrong How very amusing. It's not all so bad. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi there. My lady. Hi. How are you feeling? No good, I won't lie. I turn scripture at times like this. You okay? It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Sure, Arthur. Susan! Hey there. Real good. One of those near silver dollar, will you? A fine example, Morgan. <laughs> hey. 
Hey, Bill. Hey, Arthur. You been bringing in money? Of course I have. You're a lying sack of shit, Williamson. You really are. Is that meant to be funny? All right, simmer down. You're a strange feller. Well, how are you? Hey, Lenny. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. You're a good worker. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> well, it looks like we'll live to... See at least a few more days. Folks are happy, Arthur. Happy? Well, they're fed, which is the next best thing. <laughs> Arthur! Yeah? Huh. How you... What? Listen. We're gonna be okay. If you say so. Well, what about the money? Back at Blackwater. Now is not the time for doubters. I ain't a doubter nor a believer. I ain't nothing. So you keep saying. Next time, Arthur, try faith. Try faith. You don't have to talk to me about faith. I don't? No. What did you say to me? Well, I... I didn't do it. I heard that. Oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic! Don't make me angry. Oh! Or what? Huh? You'll start howling at some other moon? Like... Like this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. Someone there he is. put that guy out what? the seed. <laughs> Delightful, the Uncle. Nearly ready? Well, he's cracked in the head, that one. You're not? Well, I should get back to it. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? 
<laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Hosea. Sit down, Arthur. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. What? Another day and we're still alive. For now. Well, anyway, best not tempt fate. I don't really care right now. Okay, fella. When are we eating, Pearson?
strong one, boy. Around here. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. It'll take more than that, boy. private property. It's all good. Calm down. You all right, boy?
over there here. There we go. Now. You're gonna die. <laughs> Easy now. Okay there. Howdy. Excuse me. Excuse me, but I need some money. I fought the war. I fought for you. Easy, easy. Had any luck finding that lumber for us? No, not yet. Well, I appreciate you trying. If we don't get our hands on some soon, I reckon we're just gonna have to call it quits. Maybe place is looking good. We're done if we don't get more money. Okay. Bye then. I'll keep an eye out for that lumber. I appreciate it.
Don't be getting back out there. I feel an air of complacency has descended on the area. Just give it time. Yeah, well... Hey! You there! Can I have a word? Okay. Now, this little crow don't look like one of ours. Does he, boys? Well, if this one ain't been riding with Kieran Duffy... This is a no-good bastard. Make him pay! You're done! This is it! Mark your target! Where are you gonna go? We got you on all sides! <laughs> We got you surrounded! Hey, mister. Hello. I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. Lucky you. Anyway, guess I'll be on my way. Bye.
Howdy, stranger. Mister? Who's there? Arthur, you dumbass! He's back! You know, I'm sorry about Jenny. Sure. You did real good, boy. Me too. I know you were sweet on her. <laughs> Was it that obvious? Oh, yeah, pretty obvious. I made sure we buried her carefully. I rolled back and planted some flowers she would have liked. Did you? Of course. Least I could do. Thank you. When I go, I hope they... Cover my grave with roses. <laughs> when I die, I just want to be buried with friends. Mm. Me too. With friends. Or with family. I don't think it matters more than that. What about you, Arthur? Me? I don't care about that nonsense. Come on. Face me to the west so I can watch the setting sun and... Remember all the fine times we had that way. See, Tilly? I told you Arthur had a soul. You okay? Save your legs. You'll need them. Lenny. Hey, you might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Hey there, Tilly. Hey. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. Did John mention this train job? He did. Sounds promising. Yeah. We're getting things set up now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Whatever you say. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend? I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. I'm all right. Thanks for asking. Hey, Javier. Hi. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course doing? not. Anyway, you know what to do. Uh, yes, so see you later. Sorry to hear that. I was just thinking about that Cornwall train. You did good there. <laughs> Nearly didn't make it. Made it more all than right. the rest of them. Yeah. Is that a journal I see you writing in? Something like that. That's good. Hi there.
Might as well rest while you can. Swanson. How are you? Good evening to you. Hey. Hey. Hello. Sorry for interrupting, but I can't stay much longer over there. I mean, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life, and I'm. Well, I'm very grateful. Don't mention it, Reverend. I, I made a fool of myself. We've all done it. I just, I just, I get so confused and, and angry, and then I hear God laughing at me, and I get even angrier, and, well, I'm a real prized dolt. I know it. I like a horse well enough to not want to give one up for a machine. Well, maybe the horse can ride in the carriage with you. Now, that's an idea. What is he put in this slop? He waits until the meat is crawling with lice, and then he cooks it. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you two, mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes good care of us. Ladies. Hey there. So we're working on a plan for that train you told me about. Oh, I was wondering about that. It sounded worth a look. For sure. You did good. Evening. Hi there. Fellers. Fellers? Arthur, I left those arrows by your tent. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am.
Gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> Good evening, Arthur. What's going on? Nothing too much at this very moment. Who left this idiot here? Hey, watch your mouth. Just calm down. Well, I ain't in the mood. Dutch, how do you do? You good? Just can't seem to get a moment's peace. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. Now, it wasn't uh, the, the master of the house who my father loved, in a way, but his brother, whom my father hated with an almighty passion. He, he beat the slaves almost nightly. Whip them. Rape them. One night, my father was getting a whooping for the crime of being born by this horrible bastard when his sister-in-law, the, the master's wife, walks in. Okay. Now, fearing for my father's life, she told her brother-in-law to stop. Well, not only did he not stop, he beat her too. Next day, his brother, the master, shot him dead. The whole plantation cheered. The master gave my father his dead brother's watch and told him as he did so. Time will catch up with us all. A year later, he set them free and hanged himself the very next night. My father gave me that watch. Beautiful, big pocket watch it was. And now, I've gone and lost it fleeing Blackwater. When I get some spare money, I'm gonna buy myself another one to honor both my father and them folks that saved his life. There he is. Hey there. Keep working hard like you have been. Of course. <laughs> A Yankee ship came down the river. Blow, boys, blow. Her masts and spires, they shone like silver. Blow me, bully boys, blow. And who do you think was a skipper of her? Blow, boys, blow. Oh, dandy Jim from old Carolina. Blow me, bully boys, blow. And what do you think they had for dinner? Blow, boys, blow. Oh, monkey's lights and donkey's liver. Blow me, bully boys, blow. And what do you think they had for supper? Blow, boys, blow. A heart attack and old Yankee leather. Blow me, bully boys, blow. Then blow me, boys, for better weather. Blow, boys, blow. Then blow me, boys, for better weather. Blow me, bully boys, blow. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. <laughs> nah, just not the same on dry land. Arthur. <laughs> 